Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Narrator is a Windows 11 utility that reads on screen text allowed to the user. To view the Narrator Accessibility Settings in Windows 11, open the Settings app window, and then click the Accessibility button at the left side of the screen to show the accessibility settings for your computer to the right. Then click the Narrator button to the right to show the Narrator settings at the right side of the Settings app window. To turn the Narrator on and off in Windows 11, click the Narrator Setting Buttons toggle switch to set it to either the on or off position as needed. When enabled, a narrator window opens and explains some changes made to the narrator application. To continue, click the OK button in the narrator window to open the narrator home screen. To disable showing the narrator home screen when narrator starts, uncheck the Show Narrator Home When Narrator Starts checkbox in the narrator home screen. To minimize the home screen, click the Minimize button within it. You can also exit the narrator by clicking the Exit Narrator button in the Narrator Home screen. To view Windows sign-in settings for the narrator, click the Narrator Settings button to expand it. To start narrator before signing into Windows 11, check the Start Narrator Before Sign-in checkbox. To start narrator after sign-in, check the Start Narrator After Sign-in checkbox. To enable or disable the keyboard shortcut of the Windows logo key plus Control plus Enter to turn Narrator on and off in Windows 11, click the Keyboard Shortcut for Narrator Setting Buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To manage the Narrator Home screen settings, click the Narrator Home Setting button to expand it. To open the Narrator Home screen, Click the Open Narrator Home Setting button. This also enables Narrator as usual. To turn Narrator Home on or off when Narrator opens in Windows 11, check or uncheck the Show Narrator Home when Narrator Starts checkbox. To view Microsoft's Complete Guide to Narrator, click the Complete Guide to Narrator Setting button. To set the Narrator's voice, Select a voice from the Voice Setting Buttons drop-down under the Voice section in the Narrator Settings page. Clicking the Add Voices Setting button takes you back to the Speech Settings in the Time and Language Settings category which we previously discussed. If you open these settings, then click the Back button in the upper left corner of the Settings app window to return to the Narrator Settings. To change the Narrator's voice speed, Use the Speed Setting button slider under the Voice section of the Narrator Settings page. To change the narrator's voice pitch, use the Pitch Setting button slider. To change the narrator's voice volume, use the Volume Setting button slider. To turn lowering the volume in other apps when narrator is speaking on or off, click the Lower the Volume of Other Apps when Narrator is Speaking Settings toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To select the Narrator's Audio Output Device, select a choice from the Narrator Audio Output Device Settings drop-down menu. To change the verbosity level of Narrator to choose how much detail it reads, Select a choice from the Verbosity Level Settings drop-down under the Verbosity section in the Narrator Settings page. To set additional Verbosity settings, click the Verbosity Settings button to expand it. To enable or disable text emphasis for formatted text when speaking, check or uncheck the Emphasize Formatted Text checkbox. To enable or disable phonetic reading when reading by character in Narrator, Check or uncheck the Read Phonetically When Reading by Character checkbox. To enable or disable Pausing Slightly When Reading Punctuation in Narrator, check or uncheck the Pause Slightly When Reading Punctuation checkbox. To enable or disable Reading Advanced Details like Button Help Text on Buttons and Controls in Narrator, check or uncheck the Read Advanced Details like Help Text on Buttons and Other Controls checkbox. To set how Narrator reads capitalized text, select a choice from the Change How Capitalized Text is Read settings drop-down. To change the context level of controls read by Narrator, 
select a choice from the context level for buttons and control settings dropdown under the verbosity section in the narrator settings page. To set additional button and control context level settings, click the context level for buttons and controls settings button to expand it. To enable or disable hints on how to interact with controls in narrator, check or uncheck the read hints on how to interact with buttons and other controls checkbox. To enable or disable letting narrator tell you why an action cannot be performed, check or uncheck the tell me why actions can't be performed checkbox. To enable or disable playing sounds instead of announcements for common actions, check or uncheck the play sounds instead of announcements for common actions checkbox. To select when narrator should read details to you about buttons and other controls, select a choice from the Tell Me Details About Buttons and Other Controls Settings dropdown. To choose narrator's announcement settings when you type, click the Have Narrator Announce When I Type Settings button to expand it. Then check or uncheck each checkbox for the typed elements you want narrator to announce or not announce as desired. The checkboxes are letters, numbers, and punctuation, words, function keys, arrow tab and other navigation keys, toggle keys like caps lock and num lock, and shift alt and other modifier keys. To select the narrator key in Windows 11, select your desired choice from the narrator key settings dropdown under the mouse and keyboard section of the narrator settings page. To lock the narrator key on so you won't need to press it for every command, click the narrator key settings button to expand it, and then check the lock the narrator key so I don't have to press it for each command checkbox. To enable or disable activating keys when you lift your finger on touch keyboards, click the on touch keyboards activate keys when I lift my finger settings toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To enable or disable reading and interacting with the screen in Narrator by using the mouse in Windows 11, click the Read and Interact with the Screen Using the Mouse Settings toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. If enabled, to have the Narrator cursor follow your mouse, check the Have the Narrator cursor follow my mouse checkbox that then appears in the expanded section of the Read and Interact with the Screen Using the Mouse setting button. To control the mouse with a keypad, click the Control Your Mouse with a Keypad setting button to then move to the mouse settings within the accessibility settings, which we will discuss in a separate lesson later in this chapter. To return to the narrator settings, if you view the mouse accessibility settings page, click the back arrow button in the upper left corner of the settings app window. To choose between the standard and legacy keyboard layouts for Narrator, select your preferred choice from the Keyboard Layout Setting Buttons dropdown. If you click the Keyboard Layout Settings button, it expands to show hyperlinks to related web pages for More About Narrator Keyboard Layouts and Create a Custom Keyboard Layout that you can click to open if desired. To show or hide the Narrator cursor on screen in Windows 11, Click the Show the Narrator Cursor Setting Buttons toggle switch under the Narrator Cursor section of the Narrator Settings page to set it to the on or off position as desired. To turn moving your text cursor with the Narrator Cursor as it reads text on or off, click the Move my text cursor with the Narrator Cursor as Narrator reads text setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To turn syncing the narrator cursor and system focus on or off, click the sync the narrator cursor and system focus setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To select normal or advanced navigation mode in narrator, select your desired choice from the navigation mode settings drop down. However, note that Microsoft recommends normal mode. To use a braille display with narrator in Windows 11, Click the Use a Braille Display with Narrator button to show the Use a Braille Display with Narrator settings. You will need to install the software by then clicking the Download and Install Braille button that appears. 
after installation, you can then set the desired Braille settings on this settings page. To turn Braille on or off in Windows 11, click the Turn on Braille Settings toggle switch to set it to the on or off position. To add a Braille display for Narrator in Windows 11, click the Add a Braille Display button in the Braille Display setting button to open the Add a Braille Display window. Then select the Displays Manufacturer and Connection Type from the dropdowns in the Add a Braille Display window, and then click the Add button. To change the Braille Display Driver, select a choice from the Braille Display Driver dropdown. To change the Braille Input Language, select a choice from the Input Language Setting Buttons dropdown. To select the Braille Input Table Type, select a choice from the Input Table Type Setting Buttons dropdown. To change the Braille Output Language, select a choice from the Output Language Setting Buttons dropdown. To select the Braille Output Table Type, select a choice from the Output Table Type Setting Buttons dropdown. To set the Notification Timeout Duration, select it from the Notifications Timeout After Setting Buttons dropdown. To change the Braille cursor used by Narrator in Windows 11, select a choice from the Display the Text Cursor dropdown. To turn the Blink Cursor on Braille Display setting on or off, click the Blink Cursor on Braille Display settings toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as needed. To return to the Narrator settings when finished, click the Narrator link in the breadcrumb navigation at the top of the Use a Braille Display with Narrator settings page. To enable or disable the experimental Decrease Verbosity in Outlook setting for Narrator in Windows 11, click the Decrease Verbosity in Outlook setting buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To sync your Narrator settings on the Windows 11 device with other users, which Microsoft recommends for serial Braille display users, click the Sync Settings button in the Sync My Narrator Settings on this device setting button. To enable or disable keyboard shortcuts of Narrator plus D for image descriptions and separately Narrator plus S twice in quick succession for a list of popular links, Click the Get Image Descriptions, Page Titles, and Popular Links Setting Buttons toggle switch to set it to the on or off position as desired. To automatically send Narrator Diagnostic and Performance Data to Microsoft, click the Automatically Send Diagnostic and Performance Data Settings toggle switch button to set it to the on position. You must restart Narrator after turning this feature on if desired. You can then press the Narrator plus Alt plus F keys on your keyboard to submit Narrator feedback. To view a web page listing how Microsoft uses your Narrator data, click the Privacy Statement setting button. To close the Settings app window when finished, click the X button in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.